Good morning, guys. Good morning, YouTube. Alex and I just got back from a run. We've been getting up at, or trying to at least, at like six, and Alex has really been pushing me to go for runs in the morning. Since we've been like in quarantine for like almost two months now, like we've both been working from home, we definitely lost any sort of morning routine that we had going. I start work at eight and literally roll out of bed at 7.50, it's so sad. So we've been really trying to get back into it since fingers crossed we'll be going back to work soon. We usually get up at six for work. So we've been trying to get up at six, go for a run. That way we get like our workout out of the way and we just feel a lot better. But the point of today's video and the second video of the spring refresh series is ways that you can physically eliminate toxins from your body. So things you can do like on the outside to help clear your body and cleanse it and just make you feel better overall. Got my coffee, got my sleepy puppy. He is so cute. He's honestly been like the nap king since quarantine began and I don't even mind. He's so cute when he sleeps. But anyways, welcome back to the second video of the Spring Refresh series. For anyone who's new, my name is Megs. In my first video that I uploaded on Wednesday, the first video of the series, I talked all about things that you can eat, drink, incorporate into your diet to help eliminate toxins, to help cleanse your body, detox it a little bit, and just basically things that you can add into your everyday routine to have a constant cleanse and to constantly be balancing your body rather than doing like a bigger detox every so often. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about things that you can actually physically do on the outside that help further cleanse your body, that do additional little things to help eliminate toxins from the surface of your body and also from the inside. That brings me to the first point of how you can eliminate toxins from your body from the outside physically, and that is to sweat. So whether that be going to a sauna or exercising or a mixture of the both, that's actually a really good combination. Sweating is really important to eliminate bacteria and different chemicals from our body. There are even studies that show that sweating can detoxify heavy metals from our system. Exercise in general, as we know, is really good for our bodies, but it's really important to remember that while we are exercising, we are sweating to get the full benefits of getting all that bacteria out of our systems. So we're about to hop into the shower and that brings me to my second point of how you can eliminate toxins from your body from the outside. And it's actually something that I do before the shower, which is dry brushing. Dry brushing is an ancient method that is literally what it sounds like, brushing your skin while it's dry. And it's known for having a lot of beauty benefits, but it actually has a lot of health benefits as well. The beauty benefits include that it exfoliates your skin, it removes dead skin cells, it makes your skin appear more plump and full, it helps uneven texture, and it can reduce the appearance of cellulite but like I said the health benefits are just as good dry brushing promotes blood circulation throughout your body and it also stimulates your lymphatic system it promotes normal lymph flow throughout your body and that actually helps your body to naturally detoxify itself I'm gonna hop into the shower and I'll see you guys in a minute Welcome back. I've literally just been working all day sitting in front of my computer. I'm very fortunate that I get to work from home right now, but I'm taking a little break and that is why I want to talk about the third way that we can eliminate toxins from our body. And that is something that we literally do all day long, breathe. But it's really about how we breathe that can help eliminate these toxins from our body. So the deeper the inhalation, the deeper the exhalation, the deeper the detox. The longer you inhale, the longer you exhale, the better it is for your body. I like to do breathing exercises on a yoga mat because I like to stretch at the same time, but you can really just do that in your desk chair while you're driving, literally anywhere. You can just stop for a second to breathe. Something that's really important to remember is when you're doing any sort of breathing exercises for de-stressing or for detox purposes, it's really important to be aware of your breath. Slow, deep, and controlled breath really stimulates the lymphatic system. It moves the lymphatic fluid through your body and it helps to just eliminate those toxins. A few minutes of deep breathing really can make you feel so much better even if you don't need to de-stress or don't want to detox your body necessarily. Just sit still for a few minutes, take some really deep inhale and then really deep exhales and you're gonna notice that you feel much lighter and just overall much better. My workday is now over and I'm heading straight to the couch to watch some Netflix and my next point on how you can eliminate toxins from your body. Tell the camera a joke. <laughs> if a child refuses to sleep during nap time, are they guilty of resisting arrest? Oh, I get it. 
Okay, I'm out. That's all. That's all you guys get. <laughs> Laughter decreases stress, soothes tension, and stimulates organs such as the heart, the lungs, and other muscles. I'm going to link a very interesting article by Mayo Clinic in the description box below that talks about the short-term and long-term benefits of laughter. So grab your funny friend. We all have that one person that's really funny. Watch a comedy show, watch a funny movie. Netflix has started adding so many good comedy specials with so many good comedians from Kevin Hart to Trevor Noah, who is my favorite, Gabriel Iglesias, and so many more. So really, whatever it is that makes you laugh, make sure you're doing more of it in your life. Laughter is not only the best medicine, laughing not only makes you live longer, it also makes you healthier, helps eliminate the yucky stuff from your body. And it is much later in the day, I'm about to start getting ready for bed and that brings me to the last way that we can detox our body and eliminate these toxins is by sleeping, catching more Z's. So studies recommend that we get about seven to nine hours of sleep per night. However, I feel like we all individually know how much sleep we need in order to be able to feel good and feel refreshed. But essentially, sleep is your body's way of purging all of these toxins out of the body and getting it out. So if you're not getting enough sleep, you're not allowing your body enough time to go through that process and to properly purge these toxins. As we know, sleep helps our bodies reset and refresh for the next day, but it also does the exact same for our brains. It allows our brains a time to finally rest and stop functioning. So it's really important to also get enough sleep for that because we all know if we're not well rested, then there can be other health problems associated to that. Another thing that I recently learned is if you wake up in the morning and you're smelling a little funky, smelling a little off, that's actually your body detoxifying itself while you sleep. And I am not saying that I wake up stinky or anything. And those are some easy methods on how you can detoxify your body from the outside. Now remember that by doing just one of these things, you're not going to get the full benefits. You're not going to get the full detox. So implementing all of these things into your routine every single day, one way or another, is really going to help to make sure that you're getting a regular cleanse and you're balancing your body out on a regular basis. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching the second video of the Spring Refresh series. I'm having a lot of fun making these. I'm really liking this. So if you want more, more about me, my day-to-day -day life, some more detox stuff, then follow me on Instagram at Megs Bajalski. And if you ever want to chat, feel free to send me a message through DMs. But for now, that is all. So I'll see you on Wednesday with my video all about dry brushing. But for now, that is all. So know yourself, know your body. And until next time, and good night.